Well, I'm having a little difficulty today I'm trying to put up this video. First two takes, things have been happening. So, this is the Z5 with the 28 millimeter um, f2.8. This is the Sony A6100 with the Sigma 56 millimeter f1.4. This is Wanda on a ZFC and this is the uh, 28 millimeter f2.8 this is where she zoomed sleeping comfortably on the puppy cam this is my guest camera it's the uh, Nikon ZFC it has uh, the Megadap ETZ11 adapter with the Sony G APS-C DX lens 16 to 55 at f2.8. Great HDR, great color. Love this lens. And this is what we're going to talk about. So this is my EV10. HDMI port doesn't work, but just to show you a side shot, this is how smart Sony has done by uh, showing this. So as you can see, this is my Z72 looking at it. You can see the front cable, which is red, is where it's plugged into the microphone. The white cable is for the power and it's on a right angle um, adapter that connects to the USB-C. It'll keep it powered out. Uh, I can get a closer shot, but I'll have to mess with the focus, whatever. But the HDMI cable goes underneath and it's a right angle and it goes down. And the reason why I have it like that is if I turn it around, you can see I still have 80% of the LCD screen and it doesn't block any of it, the cables. And uh, that's what you should invest in. Go to Amazon, get those right angle USB-Cs, the right HDMI cable. So it's like a converter from the um, micro HDMI or mini HDMI to a full HDMI cable and they work great. Unfortunately, this camera can't accept it anymore, but that's okay. I can use it for vlogging and uh, carry it around. Everything is working flawless, except that when I come to a standstill waiting for something in the car, you see that wavy effect and I'm working on that. I put it in the P mode. It works the best and this video will show you that, uh, yeah, it does a good job. Also, the fact that uh, I got it on P mode. It's better than Intelligent Auto. So, uh, anyhow, let's go to the uh, video. So, if I go here. This is the ZFC, the guest camera. And let's show you the file. Here I am again. I rechanged the settings. Let me get a better shot. Hopefully this will work. More in the center. Okay, put that there. That's better. Turn on the air conditioner. I'm ready to go to work. And I'm a little late. That's right. It's Friday. Definitely mow the grass. Oh, okay, so I'm pretty done with the video um, logging on uh, this camera, but I'm using it anyway because I want to try out one more thing. I've tried the Intelligent Auto. I did not like that. So I got it on manual setting. I think it's under the aperture priority. So let's see how this does. 
16 millimeter f1.4 but it's at like f7.1 6.3 so I don't know I don't know if it's the sensor that I'm messing up on the camera I should probably you know take that off I was thinking of the program uh, priority I, I tried it manual so I might just try manual too but then you have to get in the menu and oh, that's a hassle I, that's where I miss all the dials I put the EVF about uh, I think one plus so maybe that should help it from preparing to be dark ah, let's see yeah a little highway So, yep, I can see uh, you're picking up my voice pretty well. Yeah, last night uh, I thought it was a good idea to put this on, and then uh, when I took the seatbelt up, it went up, but it didn't go out all the way, and part of the seatbelt was sticking outside uh, when I left the car. <clears throat> Forgot that this was on the seatbelt. And when I was turning the camera off and went inside, I realized I was missing this because it was attached to the seatbelt. And, and then you lost the last part of the sounds, but I made up with it uh, with another video. <clears throat> so I put up five videos in the last day or so. I need to put up one more. One more is almost finished. So I think that's four past morning well one last night and then um, three this morning when I get home I'll finish the process on the pictures that I've tried with the different lenses I use a Sony program to look at the raw files so they're all in raw and I'll show you the way this format is I'll show you uh, on each lens what picture I took with it and that way it would help you better decide um, if this is also a good picture taking camera um, you know they talk a lot about street photography now and they like a small camera to take pictures so with the smaller one inch uh, cameras I like the uh, Sony RX100 Mark 7 or even the ZB1. Um, the only problem with that is the small battery size, but they take great pictures. Uh, product reviews, do a short clip of video. Uh, you know, it, they're improving all the time. Um, the one uh, video I did this past week where it was high definition looked fantastic also. And what I've also learned, or learned that MP4 doesn't lose that much video quality from movie. In fact, I can't tell the difference. Movie files are bigger than the MP4. And what I've also learned, and I did experiments on this, if I use my Ecamm Live just to show the video that I shot. It reduces the file even more in the size. So for an example, if I have like a, a 26 gig file or like a 28 minute movie in uh, movie, or no, that's an MP4, because movie would be higher. Be probably 35 gigabytes, whatever. Uh, but if I had an MP4, it reduces the size to 25 on the um, ZFC. But if I have it on this camera, then it reduces like half to maybe 13 gigabytes. And then if I use, uh, you know, the Ecamm Live, which renders the video to even half the size of that. 
That's why everybody likes uh, Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve or uh, I don't know uh, Adobe. So you know, I, I'm learning in this process too. A little bit late in life, but I'm ready to retire and. I got a passion for photography and video. Video is the biggest thing. So, uh, and I'd rather do this and listen to the radio because I'm hearing uh, people uh, complaining about this or that or their, um, well, there's a lot to complain about, but uh, You know, it, it just, I don't want to listen to that, especially when I go to work. I want to be in a positive, good mood, do the best job I can, and then when I get home, I want to go to bed and go to sleep after I eat dinner. So right now I'm in the, the shade with my uh, ZFC, I would not be. I think I finally got the best position on getting this camera situated I put the two legs on the outside put the one leg in the in the back over the the handle the safety handle for the passenger seat and that seems like the best support and as always I'm away from the Sun now if I was facing the Sun you would see me clearly if I get closer See, I'm at F11 right now. Uh, I just might put it on manual this afternoon going home just to try it out. to do is you turn on the wireless mic on the camera first you know the base then you turn on the uh, remote uh, voice for the road once you get your camera situated where you want then you turn on the camera and take a look at the uh, LCD screen And then, uh, uh oh. Uh, motorcycle problem. Looks like uh, he broke down. So, uh, picture quality should be good. So what I'll do from now on is I'll put these files through uh, my Ecamm Live, the render, and it should be a, a lot better file going up. So a smaller size. I, I don't put any of uh, the fancy uh, uh, lettering or graphics. Now what I'll do is I'll put it on pause, put it on my share screen where it's a black screen, and then I'll type in the stuff. Then I'll record that, you know, to show a different chapter or what I'm talking about uh, in the next segment. And then um, put it live on the camera to explain things. Uh, that's my editing right there. And if I mess up, you see it, the way it's met and I leave it in there because uh, maybe it'll help other people learn what I'm doing wrong so you see get a little sunlight depending on where the uh, the Sun is but I'm at f11 for f9 so I think it has something to do with the metering.
the light metering, whatever. Unfortunately, what I've learned is if the LCD screen is dark, I'm dark. So when I, this road keeps going north, south, well, north, south, you know, uh, west, east. So as I go to a light source, then you can see me brightly. And what I'm hoping is that nobody is in McDonald's line. Because I'm running a little bit late. Gotta have my frappy mocha. See, I'm in the sun. Ah, and it's a little bit higher view, so maybe you won't see the wavy thing. I saw a little bit yesterday, and that was an intelligent auto. So that, that's the only other thing I don't like about the camera. And then the HDMI port went bad. But anyhow, it's being charged. It looks good. I haven't lost any power. Still got over five hours, 30 minutes of recording. So basically, without any time limit, it, it hasn't overheated once. Camera works great. I don't know. I'm gonna probably be late with all this traffic. Ah, uh, 9.30, I might make it. But you see, the reflection of the sun is that way. It's off the windshield. I'm bright. And I'm gonna have to do something with this. Have to glue it on or something. Or get a new door or a new car. I usually run my cars to the ground, and then uh, when it dies, then I get me a new car. I've had this over 20 years, this beetle bug. Hate to give it up. <sighs> Still runs good. Still gets pretty good gas mileage. Not as good as my, uh, oh, what was it, the Honda Civic I got back in the 90s, or early 90s when I sold it uh, got a, still got 40 miles to the gallon on the highway the air conditioner went out three times so they had a lousy air conditioning system and uh, the air conditioner only went out once in this one no transmission problems a Honda had a transmission problem um, but like I said uh, yesterday, it's like driving a van, but I'm in a small car. Uh, I put a lot of stuff in there, so I take the back seat down. The trunk space is nice because the spare tire goes in the spare tire uh, well, and it's a full-size spare tire. So I did set it up to uh, EV or the comp um, the compensation uh, aperture to a plus one and there's my chauffeur maybe he'll give me my uh, or my frappe mocha unless they have him doing something else Come on, lady. Quit checking your phone.
There you go. Well, I haven't seen this odd in a version. It's a CTY. It looks kind of small. I thought it was a Civic. Or is it a CITY? City. I don't know. Maybe that's the brand name of the dealership. Uh, they got the Honda Fix. bit slow in taking orders today. Uh, no, I haven't. All right, sorry, do I have to help you? I'd like to have a large frappy mocha, please. Large mocha frap, okay. And that's it. That's it? Go ahead and come forward, okay? Thank you. It's the weekend almost. Uh, running out of equipment at work. It's the summer, so it's not that busy, but still, the job that I have to do, um, uh, very important to have equipment. You know, trying to save money, I understand that, but you know, the basic needs. need equipment to put your mail in so you can have it delivered to uh, the substations, whatever, so they can process the mail. If you don't have the equipment to ship it, then you got to rubber band it up and it just delays stuff. So I sent a survey out, so I'm going to fill that. I sent one to the house and one at work. So I'll send the one uh, I got in the mail. Do that. Explain that equipment is important. And I'll give it examples why. But uh, where I work, it, it's a great place. Uh, I like doing what I'm doing. Trying to boot, do the best I can. Um... I'm 65 years old. I like to uh, keep doing so. I get bored. 
kind of easy. And if I get bored, I just sleep. So I got to stay active. And they pay me. I enjoy what I'm doing. My health uh, stays for a while. Uh, I'm supposed to retire next year in November. But uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll know about six months in advance if I'm going to retire or not. Good morning. Good morning. You got it. Thank you. Have a nice one. <sighs> well, it's pretty good. I'm still in the light. Do a little ranting. This video has been... 22 minutes long already. That's why it lasts so long in the morning. Because I'm waiting for a frappy mocha. I got 5 hours and 21 more minutes of video recording. The battery looks good. Is that fully charged? Yeah, I think this is a better shot. Maybe it's the contrast part where I'm getting the wavy thing on the screen. See, you can't see it on an LCD screen, but when I put it in a QuickTime player on my Mac Studio on a 55-inch QD OLED TV, you start seeing the wavy stuff a little bit. So it improved. It was much better yesterday, but I had a, the camera at a different position. Looks like this is the best position right now. So I'll just have to remember how to uh, have the camera set and vlog. And what I do is uh, you got to make sure that uh, you save all your files to the disk. You keep the files you want, your pictures, your videos and stuff. And then you just remove it from the SD card where it's blank. Now with Sony, they have different folders. They have thumbnail folder, they have a video folder, and they have a picture folder. Whereas on the uh, ZFC, it writes it all into one folder. And then you do it by, uh, you know, the time that you've done it. Uh, you can do the different sorts on the computer, you know, what type of file. But uh, like I said before, you put it in Ecamm Live, it renders it. The file size is small, then you don't have to keep the regular MP4 or movie files. It's all in Ecamm. Some people like doing that, but uh, if it's in one small file, you know, that, that's good enough for me. See, I got plenty of uh, film pictures that I view once in a while. I think it's much easier saving it on the digital format where you don't have to put it in a box. I got it on the computer. I do not put it on the cloud. Because now if your cloud gets filled up, they want to charge you more money for more storage, which I can understand. Now it looks like you're all by yourself. <laughs> Have a nice day. All right. Okay. So I see him in the sunlight. All right, guy. Oh, thank you.
So anyway. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna make it. So I brought my um, little pro bag. I'll fit this camera. I have an extra battery pack, which I'm charging my uh, little cell phone battery with. Got to charge it last night. And uh, it really helps to keep your phone charged during the day. Now, I'll watch a little YouTube videos. I'll, uh, you know, I just. All right. Turn. Uh, you know, they fixed this road one time and it was nice and smooth for years. But now, this post office road. It's all cracked. They need to either seal it or redo it. Okay, it's gonna be a beautiful day. It's 88 degrees. Oh, 86. So. It's gonna be another hot one, folks. It was nice having the cloud cover last night, or when I left work. It makes a difference, you know, from instead of 107 degrees when I get inside the car, to it could even be 107 outside, to 93, it's a big difference. Once you hit 100 degrees, the grass starts dying. The only good advantage with that is you don't have to mow the grass. Now I gotta find a parking space. I wanna park there. I wanna park. So, see, Friday, a lot of people are off. Why is that? Because they're taking the three day weekend, of course. That's right, it means more work for me. So if I stay busy, I'm happy. Just that when you have to go to the manual unit now and then, that's when you have to wait for mail, it slows down. Then I get bored. Okay, turn that off. Put my reflector on. You see? Make it live. Make the audience feel like they're with me. Okay. I only have 65 subscribers, but that's okay. I'm building it up. I'm learning the process. Okay. So I'm going to turn it off. I'll talk to you later this afternoon. Bye. So anyhow, uh, that's the video. Uh, just want to show you that uh, that little clip was 13.35 uh, gigabytes. The CCAM file will probably be a lot less than that. So for transferring from MP4 through eCAM, uh, this whole video plus extra minutes, uh, that was kind of like a 22 minute uh, uh, video uh, you can see the difference it uh, saves a whole bunch of time it renders while recording so I love this program and uh, I would uh, really hope uh, a lot of people that use the Macs uh, especially uh, in the Apple uh, uses this program it's excellent I have five cameras hooked up to it. I got two on the other Mac Mini. I can add a third one. Um, software works great. Uh, there's a few adjustments, but that's usually user errors. And I just want to show you one more thing. 
on the 7.2. So right underneath the road wireless uh, mic, what I have is a small battery charger that I picked up for six bucks at Walmart. Okay, it's charging my ZV-10 right now. And I think you can see the little lights right here. It has um, USB-A 3.0 and then it has um, a micro USB uh, port also. It's small, it's compact, it'll charge your phone. It's charging my uh, camera right now. And right now, it's, yeah, you can barely see the light, but it's charging, folks. And uh, what I have it hooked up to is there's a converter from Apple, USB-C to USB-3. Uh, and then I have uh, male adapters on both ends of the USB-3 here. So one goes into the battery, the other one goes into the converter. So you can find any connect or connections and adapters that will work great with uh, either charging your cell phone or other devices. They even have solar devices. So technology is there. I'm just looking for the um, kind of like where you can pick up a camera working wirelessly and then shoot on the go. Uh, as far as I know, that the capability is missing from that, but it's coming. And uh, anyhow, uh, let's go here. So this is a ZFC with a Sony uh, 16 to 55 uh, millimeter f2.8 G lens, APS-C DX style. Excellent. Zen 5. 6100. Uh oh. One that got up and left. Okay. But that's the other ZFC. So I hope you like this video. Um, please uh, subscribe. Um, if you like my content, I just want to show you off uh, what I've been doing lately. And give me a like and uh, write a comment. And uh, as always, stay safe, keep smiling. And until next time, goodbye.